How's it going everyone? Base here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick startup of cold and dark of the Beechcraft Baron 58. It's a piston twin engine uh, aircraft and it's a really nice one at that. But we've completed our pre-flight from the external pre-flight. So now we're going into before engine start. So our exterior inspection is completed. Parking brake is pulled on here. Power levers slightly forward. Propeller levers full forward, mixture full forward as well. All switches off, battery switch on, check fuel quantity, check enunciator panel or warning lights, alternator. So for engine start master, battery switch check is on. Avionics master switch off, left alternator switch, so I'm gonna have these on both just so we can be ready to go. Left alternator switches on, and we're gonna turn this until it starts. Got a nice start there. Uh, I made it so the engines aren't too loud when we're uh, doing this tutorial. All right, so when running, pull it back to idle, or at least the left engine, or left throttle. All right, now the right alternator will be coming on. Same thing. There you go. <clears throat> I always hold that one a little longer because the right engine sometimes seems a little harder to start. So make sure the power levers are back to idle on both. Right above idle so it doesn't quit on us. Make sure both magneto switches are on both. And before the taxi, we're going to want to make sure our flaps are retracted, avionics master switch is coming on, lights as required, we're going to do our taxi light, beacon, and strobe. Radios as required, transponder on and set, squawk VFR, before takeoff, parking brake is going to be set down here, mixture lever, mixture lever is full forward prop levers full forward, advance to 2,000 RPM. <clears throat> Let's look, make sure, get into 2,000, make sure we're not going anywhere. All right, pop this off. We're gonna do our magnetos check. So for the left magneto, keep an eye on it up, uh, up here. Good, now back to both. slight drop there. Now we're going to check the uh, red engine, slight drop in the left. Alright, back to both, making sure those are working, their redundancy built into them. Alright, um, left prop lever, we're going to retard 50%. Alright, look for a slight drop in RPM there. Back to full forward. Give it a second, right there. Same, now full forward. Elevator trim, did I miss anything? Yeah. Elevator trim set for takeoff, flaps retracted for a standard takeoff. Um, if you wanna do a short field, have it on the approach. Autopilot is off, and now for takeoff, back to 2000 RPM, or back to idle, sorry. For takeoff, lights is required. Parking brakes will be coming off in one second. We're gonna have prop levers full forward, mixtures full rich, throttle to takeoff power. We're gonna check our engine engine instruments, make sure they're in the green. We're gonna rotate at 85 knots right here. And uh, best angle, we're gonna climb at 92. And then for best rate, we're gonna climb at 105. So we'll just climb out at uh, 105. Oh, we do have some mounds ahead, so let's climb out at 92. So, let's close the window. Parking brake is off. Gonna be holding a little bit of right rudder for those left turning tendencies. And instruments all look good, they're all in the green. Air speed's coming alive, 60 knots, 80 knots, rotating 85. Just a little back pressure here. All right, 
right, we're gonna get the nose up here and climb. There you go, we're uh, losing some airspeed here. All right, gears up. We're gonna trim. Flaps are retracted. Climb power is set, lights as required. I'm gonna check to the outside view here. It might get a little bit loud. I'm gonna wanna raise the nose a little bit more to climb, but for the most part, that is how you start it up from uh, cold and dark. It's a pretty simple procedure. I might be doing another video on how to use autopilot in this aircraft or the GPS or both of them together, but for now, this is all you guys need to know to get started in flying this plane, so I hope you did enjoy. And uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.